open up this kit, you have everything you need to do search. Um, but we're gonna talk about the pole first that's in the camera kit. And this is the boom extension pole. Bring this out here. The distance or the length I should say of this pole is 10 feet. Um, with the camera on, it's a little bit uh, further. So always make sure that you tighten the collar after you've extended the pole. Again, quarter turn like this, and then further out. So very simple to use. Make sure again, tighten your collars after you've extended the pole. There's a red anodized piece here um, on the pole that is uh, something that we've designed, and that is for the wired configuration. Basically, the wired configuration is gonna come through here, through the pole itself, and come out this opening here um, and plug into the camera. At the tip of the, uh, the pole itself, this is where you mount the camera, okay? Um, that's really self-explanatory. There is this cone piece at the very top of the pole where you can adjust the teeth so that when you actually mount the camera to the pole itself, the camera's positioned properly on the pole, and we'll get into that a little later. Uh, we have a Velcro piece here with a hook. This is for your shoulder strap, one of the hooks for your shoulder strap. On the other end, we have a circular piece on this anodized red piece here for the other end of the shoulder harness if you want to use a shoulder harness with this. This is really quite lightweight, so you may not want to do that. On here, we have the ability to mount our tablet if you choose to do that. Um, we have a ram mount here that will fit the tablet. Um, basically, you have a one inch ball on the back. It mounts into this um, double socket mount right here. You tighten it up and you can have it positioned any way you like. I did talk about the bipod here. There is a little button on the bipod itself which extends the two legs like this. These legs are used, uh, are, are used for two purposes. One, to rest the camera on the ground and keep it away from the actual ground itself if you're working in wet conditions. The other unique feature that we have with this bipod is that if you have it set uh, or so you have the boom extension set 10 feet and you want to maneuver it in the space, you can do that using the legs of the actual mount. So you can pivot it any way you want, basically keeping the weight off uh, of you actually when you're using this uh, system. All right, squeeze the two legs together, pop them back up and uh, they disappear. This does have a quick release. Um, you can certainly take this off if you choose to. If you take it off, you have the ability to push the pole further into the space. All right, so there is that. There's the Picatinny rail right here. It's easy to fasten it right back up. In the rear, like I said, there is the, uh, the red anodized piece where the hard wire will go into uh, the coiled cable for the wired configuration. And of course you have your shoulder harness hooked right here. That is the uh, boom extension pole. Let's talk about power. Um, we have some batteries that are included in the kit. Obviously we have two 18650 batteries that run the camera. They look like this, all right? Uh, very lightweight. Two of these batteries in the camera will run the camera between three and five hours of continuous use, depending on whether you use audio and LED lighting. Um, we've been able to get a little over five hours with this camera, uh, working to continuously if we're not using audio and LED. So you get significant amount of time with two batteries. The unique thing about these batteries as well is um, you can hot swap them out of the camera. So if you're operating the camera and you're recording something, let's say and you wanna continue that recording, or you're in the field and you wanna keep on going and not have to come back to a truck, bring extra batteries with you and you can keep that camera going as long as you want. So you get four uh, batteries in the kit. The other unique uh, power source that we have for this camera is the ability to use CR123A batteries. They're a smaller little battery about this size. Two of them go into an adapter like this. You have two adapters with the kit and you can put four CR123A batteries into the camera and you'll get around 45 to 60 minutes of use, uh, continuous use, sorry, on the disposable CR123A batteries. So, in the case that you can't use 18650 batteries that are in the kit itself, always make sure to get some CR123A lithium batteries, and you can certainly use those with the camera if you choose to. The cartridge here does serve a purpose other than holding batteries. Um, we always say if you've uh, used the batteries in the cartridge and you put them back in the cartridge and they've already been used, 
make sure you have the negative showing here so that the next person who's using the camera will see that the, these batteries had been used and thus probably want to use fresh batteries. The same could be said by flipping a battery and saying, okay, well, these are charged. Red goes forward. And now you know that this battery is fresh and this one is dead. Pretty simple. To charge those batteries, we have this X-Star charger here. All right. Four batteries in this charger uh, will take probably a little, little over an hour and a half to charge from zero to 100. This has a really nice digital display showing all the different uh, uh, percentages of charge on each battery. We have a really unique feature in this charger that we can fast charge as well. So basically we do one amp for four batteries and then if we use ch uh, channel one and channel four here, just using two batteries, we can up the amperage to two amps and we can cut down the actual charging time in half. So that's quite significant if you want batteries charged really fast. With this charger, you'll have some battery testing probes in the kit where you can test your batteries or any other lithium, uh, lithium ion batteries that you have in your cache, as well as a battery, uh, sorry, a car or vehicle charging adapter um, in there as well. The last power piece in the kit is the power bank that we have here. Um, we have a 10,050 milliamp battery that we supply. Let me try to get this out here. And this is used for the tablet. So uh, if you're in the field and you're noticing the tablet's going down in power, you can certainly hook this up to the tablet um, through the uh, USB-C port using your uh, Samsung charging cable. And it will keep your uh, tablet running for a significant, power, uh, significant amount of time. Uh, again, this is a 10,050 milliamp battery and you'll probably get two to two and a half charging cycles on the tablet itself using this uh, power bank. That's power in the kit. For the rest of the items in the kit, um, we'll start with the bag. Uh, the black bag that you have in your kit houses uh, a few items. Uh, one is your headset, all right? This headset plugs into your tablet, just like any other headset. Uh, in your mobile phone. Of course, if you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, most phones don't anymore, but the tablets do. The unique thing about this is that you can use this headset uh, and it drowns a lot of noise uh, and you have the microphone close to your mouth, so the volume out of the speaker of the camera will be much more amplified. You can use um, Bluetooth. So if you have a Bluetooth headset, uh, whether it's small or large or whatever, you can pair it to the tablet and certainly use that headset if you wish. So you have some options on the audio side of talking to the victim, or if you're doing any self annotating by viewing something or inspecting something and making notes uh, with your voice, you can certainly use this headset or anything else like that. So that is the headset. Um, also in the bag is your wired configuration. You'll have a coiled cable like this. Um, this goes into the boom extension pole and will extend 10 feet, uh, uh, the distance of the pole itself. So there's that. We also have a tethering cable here that connects to that coiled cable um, that then plugs in USB-C into the tablet that you see there. That's part of the wired configuration as well. That's included in the black bag. Also included in the black bag will be your environmental lid right here, okay? It'll be in one of the sleeves of the actual black bag. Uh, another component that we offer in the kit is an eye hook. This basically goes into the bottom of the camera. If you're going to do any confined space um, entry with the camera, you can certainly use the eye hook. Um, useful tool if you want to drop it into a confined space. That's in your black bag. And then there's some miscellaneous items. Um, there's some helmet stickers in there um, and some user manuals on the X-Star charger uh, as well as the Samsung tablet. We also include a sunscreen with the, or sun shield with the, the kit. Obviously for glare um, purposes, you're gonna get a lot of reflective glare from the sun on a tablet and or phone, it doesn't really matter, um, but that's included. There's some rubberized elastics here that just basically, you just basically put over your actual tablet to reduce glare, it's there. We provide a tablet it's a Samsung tablet. Um, it does have an OtterBox case over it, uh, as well as a uh, layer, um, a film layer to protect the screen. That's provided in the kit. In addition to that, we have the hex tool 
this is going to be the tool that you need to remove the actual batteries from the camera. Uh, it's a four mil hex tool, I believe. And uh, you basically um, remove the two screws from the actual enclosure lid. And then when you do tighten uh, the lid to the camera, you just have to do it so that the actual enclosure lid is uh, in line with the camera itself. You don't have to severely tighten this lid. Um, there is a nice seal in there, but just make sure that the actual lid is in line with the, the camera itself. Underneath the hex tool, we have an Allen key. And the reason for this Allen key here is to fix the teeth and the mount for the camera on the pole. And I've talked about this comb part in the boom extension. Basically, what you want to do uh, to make sure that your camera is in line with the pole is adjust this. We do it here before the kit leaves, but sometimes it changes. You loosen these up and you can change the, the length of the teeth and, so to make sure that the camera is positioned properly on the pole. That is the Use R1.